Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are going to talk about uh, corrupted hard drives and corrupted disks and how to repair them. Uh, I see that you have been struggling with this issue and uh, here's the fix on how to resolve these problems. So we have a bunch of commands. We are not going to download any software from the internet. We are going to use the Windows solutions, uh, Windows features to figure out what's the problem with the drive and then fix it. So first what you need to do is open PowerShell admin. So you want to right click your Windows icon and click on terminal admin. It will open a window like this. It should say administrator windows PowerShell. You, uh, alternatively, you can also just search for PowerShell. Uh, it will give you this and run it as administrator, but this is the easier way. So now the first command that you want to run to find out the problems with your drive and to fix them is check disk so you want to write c h k d s k so you'll find this command in the description once you run this command you will uh, see that it is automatically going through a bunch of stages and it is giving you an eta of one minute so around in one minute it will be able to find out if there are any problems and if, if there are any problems it will try to fix it so we'll wait for this to be completed and uh, once it is completed we'll move on to the next step once the process is completed you will see a message that looks like this windows has scanned the file system and found no problems so if you have any problems with your disk it will be finding out these problems and it will fix it if there are no problems with your disk like mine uh, it will give you a message like this Suppose you have a problem in your drive and this uh, command did not help you. Don't worry, we'll go to the next solution. So the next solution here is to run a command called get volume. This will give you an information of what are the drives that are on your computer. So here, as you can see, I have two uh, drives that I use. One is for Windows, which is the C drive, and one is the personal, which is the Z drive. So these are the drives against that we have a health status called healthy next to each of each and every one of them. So healthy means that the drive is doing good but in case you have some problems in one of those drives. So what you need to do is run the next command. So the next command here is repair volume drive letter scan. In this command the drive letter here corresponds to the drive that you are trying to fix. If I wanted to fix the drive C I'll write C. If I want to fix the drive D, it will be D. But in this case, I want to fix the drive Z. So I'll keep it Z and I'll go for scan. As you can see, the scan has started and it has said no errors found. So this is the error message. Uh, sorry, this is the message that you want to look for. Uh, once it is completed, the scan will be done. The next command that you want to run similarly is repair volume drive letter. Similarly, you have to put the drive C, D, or Z or any other letter that you use to recognize your drive. And then you want to put a flag fault for offline scan and fix. This will let the windows know that you want to do an offline scan and you want to fix any issues that you come across or the windows feature comes across during the scan. So you want to hit enter after running this command. And as you can see, the scan has again started and here no errors found so this is what you want to do with uh, issues like these uh, with before you download any software uh, you should run these commands these are provided by windows so these are trusted and once you run all these commands these issues should be resolved if they are not resolved only then i think you should go for other third party softwares so i hope this video helped and uh, if it helped please click on the like button and if you are new to the channel please click on the red subscribe button to stay updated with the latest content till then have a good one guys